Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Saris MHS platform style bike rack on our 2018 Subaru Outback Wagon. Now this is a platform style rack that holds the bike by the tires. We've got two wheel hoops, one on either end, and that's giving a good strong hold on the bike. We've got some secondary points of contact, but those are the main ones, and that's gonna mean zero frame contact, making it good for carbon frame and alternative frame. Those secondary points of contact include this strap down here at the bottom, holding our back wheel down, as well as this little wheel block up front that's just limiting the movement of that front tire. Like many other bike racks in this class, we do have the ability to tilt away. We've got this handle back here that I can squeeze and tilt the bike rack down. And we can do this with the bikes loaded, so we don't have to unload them if we need access to the back of our vehicle. So whether we need something out of the back or we just need a place to sit while we change our shoes before or after our ride, we can do that. And we've got plenty of room to do that too. Go ahead and close this up and we can tilt the bike rack back into place. One thing that sets this apart that I really like is the fact that it's got integrated cable locks, which isn't too uncommon with a bike rack of this class, but it's positioned right here in the middle. So I can go straight up around my frame and right back down to the locking point. So for me, it's in a really convenient spot. A lot of these bike racks run into an issue where the cables are too short to go around the frame. So for me, I like seeing that. Getting this unloaded is pretty simple. We can press in on this tab on the side and remove the ratcheting wheel strap first. And then with one hand on our bike, we can squeeze this gray handle and push out on the arm for our bike rack. It does get a little bound up, so just be careful when you're doing that. And be careful that you don't pinch yourself on that handle. It's not set up in the best way, I think. So try to grab it kind of from reverse like that. And if you put it down all the way, it will just fall. So be mindful of that too. From there though, we can just lift the bike up and away and set it to the side. Overall, it is easier to load and unload than something with a center mass because we don't have any obstacles we're trying to work around. Everything's just open. If you don't like the idea of having those potential pinching points, I'd maybe recommend looking into something like the Rocky Mount Guide Rail. It's gonna hold them in the exact same way, but work with a lever system on the bottom that you just flip a lever to disengage the ratcheting mechanism and then just push the arm out of the way. And from here, we can get some measurements. We'll start off with our ground clearance. At the back end, we're gonna have 14 inches of clearance at the lowest point. That's gonna be pretty good, but just watch out for steep driveways and hills with that because it is a bit lower than some other options. As far as distance added to the back goes, it is gonna be sticking out 37 and a half inches. So it does add a bit of length. We can reduce that though, by coming up to the handle and folding it up. So if we have no bikes loaded, but we wanna leave this in the hitch between rides, we can, and it'll save us some space, only sticking out about 13 and a half inches now. So it's a lot more condensed and way more manageable. I will say in this position, it does pretty much completely block your license plate and your backup camera. You might get some visibility from the camera, but it's pretty unlikely. It blocks pretty much all of it here because it is a very large bike rack down at the hitch. It is working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt. That's gonna keep things solid and secure in the hitch. And those locks are key to like to the ones up top. So it's all under one system. Now, personally, I would maybe go with a different option because it's so bulky and does block some of those things like your license plate and backup camera. I think it's gonna be a bit cumbersome. Cyrus makes the Super Clamp HD, same weight capacity, same no frame contact, but it's gonna do it in a much smaller package. And I think it's gonna work a lot better with your Outback here, giving you full visibility of the license plate and backup camera when it's folded up and just be less cumbersome overall to put in and out of the hitch. So either way you go, I think it's gonna be a good fit. It's definitely gonna hold the bikes really well. It's just a matter of what style suits your taste the best and what you're looking for in a bike rack. Thanks for watching.